Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe notification bell as well as give the video a like. It will help you stay updated with all of the latest Cardano information and hitting that like or leaving a comment really does help support the channel. So what a day it is to wake up to see a new Cardano all-time high. What I'm going to do here is go through the charts, look at the levels that I'm personally looking at as well as so Bitcoin hit its all-time high, so did Cardano. Markets are booming right now. But I expect a lot of volatility today with what's going on with the Coinbase IPO. So look, let's jump into it and take a look at the charts. So what you see here is the 80 USD chart. When I done the video last Friday, we were down here, we were talking about breaking the 133 to 135 area. And we done that yesterday when I was doing the live stream, we broke above that but I was talking about getting the retest of the dollar 33 to 35 level. We didn't quite get that. We got the drop here. They came back down to a dollar 36, 37. And I wasn't fully convinced that was enough to retest the levels down here. But what was very good to see that when we went up and set the all time high, again, unbelievable feeling waking up to see Cardano, no longer quite the stable coin that it has been and setting new all time highs. When we got this drop here, look, this was not a Cardano related drop. This was a market, a Bitcoin drop. Bitcoin dropped, Bitcoin pulled the market down with it. And you can see we came down nearly to that $1.37 again. I'm not fully convinced that that is our bottom support just yet, but it does look very good to see that we have nearly tested it twice. I would like to see another retest of that to start reinforcing that as our bottom support level then, that if, not, not if, when we get dips, that that will be the next support level. Because look, markets are never going to keep going straight up, up, up. They are going to have their pullbacks and that is how healthy markets work. They will go up a bit, they will pull back. What you want to see is that you're getting higher lows. So as the market goes up, it gets a pullback to here. Now we want it to go back up again and it will have another pullback. But what we want to see is the low that it pulls back to is going to be higher than these levels here. What am I personally doing myself? On this dip this morning, I started to DCA into a trade. You can see I still have some of that trade open here now, so it's a really nice day for trading as well. But I will say that if you are going in on leverage or anything like that today, be extremely careful. With the Coinbase IPO happening later today, there is going to be incredible volatility throughout the day and throughout the next few days within crypto. So when I went into this trade, I went in small at a dollar and 49 cent first. And if I had to go all in at that level, then I probably would have been liquidated on these pullbacks here. But as I always do, I DCA into my trades. So I go in some at whatever the level is. And then I start putting in more orders throughout the order book, which pulled my entry price down to a dollar and 44 and a half cent then. The same on Bitcoin, things are looking very well. Have an open trade there, expect Bitcoin to go back up above the $65,000 level. And again, we're going to have to keep a close eye on that over the next few hours and over the next few days to see what happens with the Coinbase IPO, because this could bring complete mania into the markets right now. If we look at the Bitcoin chart, looks extremely healthy with what's going on right now. Looks very, very positive, very bullish to push further up to the upside. But you always have to keep that in mind, the fundamentals that's going on outside of the chart, which is that big, big event for crypto this evening. I think it's about 6.30 Irish time. I need to look that up. I had thought if it was the middle of the day, I might live stream, but probably won't get to at that time. So looking forward on the 80 USD chart, what can we expect? Again, we will be correlated a bit to the Bitcoin price, but having got this pullback out of the way, it does look like we have fairly clear skies on the way up. We could see a fairly quick push up in the charts, all going well if the IPO goes down positive, that will be good overall for crypto and we will start to see some big pushes to the upside. If you're looking to buy into this for the short term, then I would be extremely careful because there's nothing to say that we won't go up here, hit the 160, maybe 170 mark and then get another very big pullback. So if you're coming into this 
For the short scalp, then be extremely careful. And scalp is basically, when you come in for a trade, you go in, you're looking to say, get in at this 148 and then get out at 155. Yes, probably going to happen, but not guaranteed. So when you're coming into markets like this, make sure you're coming in looking at the longer term rather than looking too short. So I'm going to keep this video short and I will put out some more updates over the next few days and I will also be putting out updates on Twitter, on Telegram, all of the usual locations if you want to follow me there. The links will be below. Let me know your thoughts on this and where you personally think this is going. So thanks for watching guys, I really do appreciate it. If you're looking for a stake pool, please do consider my own. Mine are under the ticker Paul and Paul1 if you are staking your ADA. Lots of tutorials on my blog and what I mentioned yesterday about the upcoming potential job for a researcher writer, I will have that spec done out later today and I will post something on that either tonight or tomorrow as well. Thanks for watching guys, I will talk to you very soon.